So my name is Anthony Anaxagoru. I am um, a poet, uh, publisher uh, and an educator. Uh, I think I very much enjoyed the, the freedom of expression, the idea that there's surprise within a poem, the idea that you're thinking about quite familiar things in unfamiliar ways is, is what I really liked. And also the, the use of language, how language is quite malleable and how it can kind of shift and change depending on context and the way that poets are able to manipulate the meanings of, of words was the original appeal as a, as a kid. Um, I don't really have one poet uh, per se. I, I think if I've, every time I've tried to do that, I've felt quite disingenuous. Uh, I read across the board. Um, I read translations, uh, a lot of American poets, uh, British poets. Um, and so I think depending on the mood that I'm in, the kind of writing that I want to be reading, it really does vary. There's some obviously canonical writers and then there's some emerging and some kind of established. So it, it depends really. Um, I think the most important thing is, is to try and clear any kind of preconception that you might have of what you want the poem to do. I think that when I've tried to force an idea, it never works. So I kind of see it as an exercise where you just build on randomness, really. Um, and that's kind of, and if you're comfortable in that random space, then all kinds of things become open. Whereas if you go to a page with an idea or this thinking, oh, this would make like a really cool poem. I find I struggle personally, I struggle with that kind of uh, formatting. I need to have as much freedom within, I guess, the intellectual and creative spaces as, as possible.